lovely people welcome back to my channel just gonna put my cucumbers down um today we're gonna be doing a video that i just saw online the other day um which is the if you could only keep one um i don't know how to say it. one product from each category of makeup what would it be and this video the one that i watched was andrea metalano i think i'll leave her channel link down below um she did say somebody else had started it, but I didn't know who that person was, so we'll credit her in the comments down below, but, so essentially what I'm going to do is for every single step of the makeup routine, I'm going to tell you the one product that I would keep if I had to get rid of every other product that I have. So, let's do this. First, we'll start with primer. So this one's a little bit, might be a little bit surprising because I don't wear this very often. This is the... Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminator Moisturizer. It used to be like my favorite primer, but I haven't worn it as much because it's quite, there's a bit of a scent to it, but it's so glowy and just like the perfect primer consistency that I love it and I need to use it more. Um, it's just so good because it can be like alone or with a foundation, whereas the other primer I've been using a lot, which is the Milk Makeup um, Hydro Primer, it's really tacky so you have to put something over it whereas this you could wear without putting anything over it because it's just more of a moisturizer and yeah it just applies like the perfect amount of glow to the face so for primer we've got that one next up in my routine is foundation which i don't normally wear i've only ever worn one foundation in my life and it is the milk makeup sunshine skin tint this one's expired and i haven't bought a new one yet but it's just super light coverage the right color for my skin tone just it's so good and i believe it has some spf maybe i don't know it doesn't say but this is the shade fair um and yeah it expired but you know i haven't bought a new one because it's expensive and i don't wear foundation that often my list will be brows so i have recently found and it is now my go-to product the goof proof brow pencil by benefit I used to use the Tarte one, but it, this one's just a lot creamier and easier to use. Bigger applicator, bigger spoolie. We love this one, and it's also not super expensive, so I would be able to repurchase it if it was the only one that I could ever own. And, uh, yeah. So for some of these, like these, this brow category, it's easy because they don't own multiples, but get ready for eyeshadow because that's going to be hard. Next we'll do concealer. So um, this is the Sephora... Bright Futures Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Meringue. I've only tried a few concealers in my life, but this is definitely my go-to. The other ones that I've tried are too drying on the skin, and this one just sits perfectly and blends out perfectly. I've just placed an order on ColourPop for their concealer, so we'll have to see how they compare, but for now, this one would be the one that I would keep. Um, and it also is pretty cheap um, since it is a Sephora collection product. Um, for powder... Another Sephora collection product would be the Sephora, Sephora, Sephora Beauty Amplifier um, Powder, uh, translucent. This is the only powder I've ever used, but it does the job. It sets what needs to set. Um, I've only ever purchased one. Probably should have expired by now, but you know, it does its job. So um, that would be my choice. Although I, now that I'm setting my face more often because I'm wearing more concealer, I would like to try some other. So that would be my choice for powder. For eyeshadow primer, um, my choice would be the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer. This is from the drugstore. It's like $6. It's great. Um, I need to buy a new one because I've been using concealer lately, but it just does such a good job of just putting a great base down for your eyeshadow. And I really notice a difference when I don't use it. So this would be my choice. I have used the Urban Decay Priming Potion and a couple of other ones and I'm not a fan. So this one for sure. The question is, what eyeshadow palette would I keep if I could only keep one? And this might come as a surprise to you guys. I was thinking the James Charles palette, but I don't know. There's just colors in there that aren't necessary. So my choice is the... Disney Designer Collection slash Colourpop It's a Princess Thing palette. This 
has all of the shades that I would ever need if I had only one palette. So you've got the perfect like light pink shades and then browns up here. A ton of glitter shades in the middle row which is like my staple. And then some glittery and also some like mattes with shimmer shades down here. So uh, this would basically be all I ever need for any everyday look and there's some like Enchanted Rose and Poison Apple and Thingamabob, like those shades you could really jazz up a look if you're going out or anything like that. Um, and it's got like a black, a few browns, some pink tones, so this would be my choice if I couldn't have any other palettes, but that would not be fun. Next step in my routine would be eyeliner, and I would choose the Sephora 24 Hour Fine Liner um, in black and the waterproof one. So I have recently been trying out the Machino or Moschino Sephora eyeliner that you guys would have seen I picked up in my last couple of videos, but I find that it's a little streaky, and this one is not streaky at all. This one has not let me down. The applicator is really nice and firm for even application, so this would be my choice. And then for mascara, um, I would... This one is also not my normal choice, but I would choose the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, this mascara is great because I'm somebody who, if I'm just going out on like a day-to-day -day basis, I don't want super dramatic lashes, but I do want to be able to layer on for the nighttime. And this adds, this adds color and volume and all of that good stuff to your lashes which a lot of other ones yeah it's one or the other and it's very layerable so if I did want to have a couple more coats it's not clumpy it's great love it okay so for bronzer I would choose the physician's formula butter bronzer um in the shade light bronzer oh partly because it smells like the beach and partly because I have gone through a couple of these in my life but it takes you like a year to go through them and I love it I did switch over to another bronzer at one point and I don't remember what it was which shows that I didn't really care for it that much I think it was probably bare minerals or something like that but I then switched back to this physicians formula butter bronzer and it is amazing it adds the perfect color for me although I think I could go a little bit darker um, and it's not ever too orange or anything it's just the perfect bronzer for me so that one's good um blush for blush i would go with the california blush by benefit um this is the it looks like it's a rose gold shimmery blush um very subtle almost looks like a highlight with a little bit of color which i really appreciate because i don't wear a lot of blush anyway in fact i'm not wearing any right now maybe i should add some color one second It just adds a subtle, like, flush to your cheeks with a little bit of glow. I love me some glow, so, yeah, that's my go-to blush. And you guys know I don't wear blush that often, but I love this one. Face product would be Highlight, and I don't know where the lid is for this one, but this is the, um, Dragon's Heart Multicolor Highlighter from Makeup Revolution. So, I don't normally use this side, but you could, but it's just the perfect, um, few colors of highlight so mixing these gold and like silver shades together it's just so beautiful and gorgeous like, just gorgeous um you can even take a little bit of the blush tones and mix it in I don't normally do that because they're a little strong but this would be my go-to highlight because you just have like a few options within the one and then lastly two two more products left one of them I don't have with me my lip product would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lip gloss in Saint Tropez. I've talked about it a bunch on my channel, but it's just the perfect, like, swipe of color for your lips. Alternatively, if I just went with something that's just, like, a plain gloss, which I also cannot find, it would be the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. I'm wearing it on my lips. Like, I literally just applied it ten minutes ago, but I don't know where it went, so... Um, last but not least would be my setting spray of choice, and that would be the MAC uh, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love this stuff. 
smells good, it feels so refreshing on your face, and it does its job, and yeah, it's got a little bit of sparkle, just adds the perfect finishing touch to your face, and it feels so nice. So that is all for the products that I would keep if I could only keep one of each step in my makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below of what you would keep in your routine. Um, it can be kind of hard because you just don't think about like what it'd be like if you could only have one. So leave your, your um, one product down below and don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And that is all for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!